All right, so we're into the final details of the exhaust system going on, and then she's going to go back tomorrow and get her power steering pump and her master cylinder. We're going to bleed the brakes, front end alignment, and she's gone. Hi, my name is William Weeding, and I realized I've got a passion for Mustangs. So I started Mustang Medic and basically put everything on video for you guys to be part of the process. Enjoy. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Matt's 1972 Mach 1. Here we go, guys. MustangMedic.com. All right, looking good, looking good. That's a pretty underside, isn't it? New pitman arm, idle arm, whole new front end. And there are the pipes. What? Oh, my boots, I know. My dogs, my dogs ate my boots. Shelby ate my boots. All right, so exhaust system, check for Matt's 72 Mach 1. All right, and there it is, guys. No exhaust system complete. There we go. And here's the look, the total look at the underside of the car. There she is. I'm trying, I'm making sure this man's not on video. This won't be on video. All right, there it is. Ta-da! All right, so she's all strapped up and she's ready to go. A little quick inspection. Four points, California. Here we go. Exhaust system. Check. Let's roll, guys. All right. Yes. Yes. Carlos and I had some McDonald's. I'm not happy about it. I don't feel any healthier, Carlos. <laughs> All right. Um, bringing back uh, Matt 72 to the shop. We're going to get her down. And uh, tomorrow morning, she comes together. <laughs> and Saturday, headliner. Saturday, we're not sure. sure. We're not yeah. sure yet. But we, Saturday, we might be road tripping to do the uh, the headliners to make the Monday deadline. If we can't get it together, <clears throat> oh, we just got a big thumbs up. They're digging in your car, Matt. They are digging your car, and that, that's a Dodge Ram too. Um, Saturday, we might be road tripping out to. Uh, Paramount to get the headliner done. We'll see. Hopefully, we do. Then we've completed the project, and we complete it on the Monday deadline. If not, maybe Matt will pick it up on Monday, and we'll just we'll take the headliner off the project. One with the other. We're getting her done. Yes. Yes, fabulous, profound. I am peeking under skirts. And they're Mach 1 skirts. Thank you very much. Pretty funny post. I like that. <laughs> Going down in our windy Palm Springs, but you guys got a nice view of the bottom side there. And uh, who knows, we might be moving to a new location with lifts. We don't know yet. Time will tell. There's a little teaser. Are we going down? Yeah. And there she goes. Back home, and we're going to get to work on her again. Hey, oh, look, Gary. Gary's got his hair done. Nice. Look at that guy. Wapo, as they say in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy day. Yes. All right. So we are about to start the 72 for the first time. Pertronics was put in. She was running when we turned when we uh, when we first started doing all the work. But it's the first run with the uh, hooker headers and the exhaust systems in, and now she runs. So first start for the 72 with the Pertronics. So guys, just so you know, to check transmission levels, it's got to be idling. And when you're putting the transmission fluid back in, after you rebuild a transmission, you want to be very careful. Just put it in slowly, put it in running. It's going to have air floating around everything. If you just dump a bunch of type F in there and she's not running, it's all going to spill out of your drain tube and pour all over the floor. So don't panic if you do that. You just overfilled it without the transmission running. And make sure you put like three or four quarts in, then start putting it in. It holds a lot of quarts, so it's got to, it's got to circulate. So Gary is going to do the honors of first kick. The battery hasn't been charged or anything, so hopefully we still have a, a good battery. We had it disconnected the whole time we were working on it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Here we go. 
Bobby and Gary went all through the vacuum lines on this. This vacuum was not working on the Ram Air. Now it is. Uh, we went through all of it. We fixed this also and did a lot with the vacuum lines. Everything's put back in and we are prepared to uh, start her now. Only question mark I have is a Petronix. We just put it in, so hopefully she runs. That this entire electronics section was attached by just a screw here or a screw there and in the wrong places. I took and repositioned this correctly here, positioned this here, and then this box here is screwed in with both places, and now they're all in the right holes pretty much. So that is they're now on wrong, they're on the wrong holes? Yeah, they were I didn't just even know you did together. that, man. Well, you gotta let me know that stuff, man, on all this detail we've been stuff. Busy. This year we have been busy. All yeah. right, cool. Well, there's more, uh, more uh, pro bono work for you there, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. Okay, it's, good. Work, it's workmanship. Let's see if she starts. Give it two pumps of gas before you go. Oh, oh it's gonna it's gonna take a while to start, Gary, because it's had a, it's got a brand new gas tank, so it's got to suck the fuel forward. Okay. All right. Try gas in it. it. Might have some gas in it, maybe in the, car, in the carburetor. Please look for the link in the description below in the next in our series. So you say it only has surface rust?